hi and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to focus on going through things that were covered in week 6 of Herkirat's 0 to 1 cohort and without wasting much time let's go on the iPad screen and let's go through the things that were covered and I'll try to explain you all those stuffs in brief okay let's go on the iPad screen in the week 5 we started with react so in week 6 the first thing that was started was functional component before when react was introduced it was written in a class based manner there were no functional way to do the things there were classes and if you have a background in flutter if you know flutter flutter is used similarly it uses classes and you extend those classes and write create your own component so before react was done in the same way it used to use class based components and that time there were life cycle classes like on mount on update on unmount and all these things with functional component came react hook that which were later introduced and with react hook you were given power to hook into the state and effects and all two most used hooks in reactjs are these two reuse state and use effect use state is used to create a state object we explored that in the last video uh, what use state is because whenever you create a value using use state react keep a note about it and when the value changed react reacts to the state change and re-renders the ui okay and what is use effect we have to understand this use effect is used for side effect you can't be like my application won't be interacting with outside world sometimes you need to interact with outside world such as sometimes you need to change the title of the page maybe you want to make a fetch request maybe you want to interact go outside the react thing that time you use use effect many people have a misconception that you need use effect to create uh, to make fetch request to get data to put data no that's absolutely wrong you use effect when you want uh, to get some data on mount but when you want to get data on button click you can directly write a function and you can just call that function simply use effect is not used to get data there are some cases on mount when you want to get data or maybe on change of some particular value you can pass that to a dependency and you want it to, to uh, refetch some data when a particular value is changed that time you use it you need to understand use effect because it's not that simple because if you don't understand it if you don't understand the dependency array if you don't understand use effect you may mess up you can you can make a lot of mistakes so yeah you need to use it when you require it and if you don't require it don't use it then there is also uh, use memo and use callbacks these are performance based if you want to increase performance you use use memo use callback and now react 19 is already announced so react is coming with a compiler so most probably uh, you won't be using use memo use callback all these performance related hooks because the compiler the react compiler will be taking care of all the performance for us then there is useref this is one of the important one which is also used this is actually used to interact with dom elements if you use it you will understand it and another uh, case where it is used is it doesn't uh, cause a re-render when the value is changed and it persists its value even uh, no matter how many times that page re-render the component re-render its value doesn't change it remains the same throughout re-renders so many people use it to uh, if you want a value to be there from the start and you don't want it to change or maybe you want it to change very rarely or something and you don't want a re-render to occur because the, of the change of the use the value then you use useref okay that's thing and then they also covered reconciliation and re-rendering reconciliation is actually the heart and soul of react in one of the last videos i talked about virtual dom so what react does it's create a virtual dom first you have to understand this people used to just say virtual dom virtual dom without understanding what it is there's nothing called as virtual dom it's just a react elementary 
the tree of all the elements all the components which are there and the child inside the component that's it it's just a react element tree it takes the react element tree the past one and then takes the updated element tree and they compares it okay then the reconciliation happen the diffing algorithm runs what things need to be updated what part of the things need to be inserted and what things are need to be deleted and then a, a list of changes is made and that list of changes is given to the if you are using in a web then those changes are given to react dom if you are using mobile application then it is those changes are given to react native and then the react dom and the react native goes and makes the changes react doesn't do any changes react doesn't interact with any ui directly okay so that's how the reconciliation and re-rendering works it helps to make our application more performance otherwise clearing everything and repainting everything takes a lot of time for smaller application it won't look like but for bigger application it it looks okay and if you're using a slow machine then <laughs> in last few videos we covered that we used fetch fetch api which comes directly out of the box and but here we also explored axios some people just took fetch type thing and added more functionalities to it and created axios it helps you to do the fetching and all in an easier way okay so this library we explored and then we created custom hooks we explored how why do we need custom hooks and basic custom hooks so what are the rules of custom hooks basically if i have to tell you then custom hooks starts with use and it should use at least one at least one of these hooks okay that's the rule and it makes our main component clear for example if you just want to fetch all the users then you have to write a use state to uh, store the uh, values then maybe you want to get these values on mount so maybe you have to write a use effect okay use effect this is the second thing and then you use it inside the application so this will be a good amount of 10 to 15 lines of code in your main component and then you use it instead what you can do you can just take all this part the use state the use effect thing and put it in a separate component not a component it's separate custom hook you can create it custom hook and then whatever the value you get in the use state just return it okay just return it so in your and then you can call it use user so in your main component what you can do is just say const users is equal to use users that's it and then you can just write your jsx thing that you are going to export okay that's it so all of these 15 lines is replaced with just one single line this is how the custom hooks helps us to create a cleaner main component file okay so this is why we need custom hooks and all these things were covered in week six if you're liking this video do let me know in the comment section and yeah more videos are going to come and if you're not subscribed to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button and until then see you in the next one bye bye